Uh, John, let me, let me uh, move up. Conventional triangle is basically this. So, let's say you break the posture down here, okay? You go through here, I got the angle. But right now, actually, I don't have the angle, okay? Because this is a tri straight, not a triangle. I want to push this on my deal across here, okay? And I want to get the angle so I can lock this up even more, okay? Now I have the angle, and I can begin to pull this right here by pulling the knee. Because there's no gi, it makes it a little bit, uh, let's say for those who have skinnier arm and head right here, it makes it a little bit trickier to twist it and actually crank that triangle right here, okay? So here, I would want to get the angle here, and I want to hug my knee here, and I want to bring my left leg that's on top. And it's always your toes pulled back. Never do triangles like this, because this is loose. I want to make this hole as small as possible. And I need to bring my knees together, okay? So from here, my toes are back. I can reach and grab wrist to wrist. I can get a gable grip here. And what I'm doing is that I'm chopping down on his back. I'm lifting my hip, and I am tightening that triangle, okay? Sometimes you can also get to here, okay? And it tightens it super tight also, okay? So this is a basic triangle. When you have no angle and it's just straight, it becomes harder to finish, okay? And this arm right here, he's able to use as a frame right here. Yeah. So now it becomes a problem. And oftentimes, he uses it to pull his head up because that's a triangle defense. I can keep the head down here, okay? But this arm, I want to keep pulling it across here. So oftentimes, they hide it on the outside here, okay? So if you notice, this right here sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. But you're going to hug both knees. And be able to pull it all together and compress it right there. Okay, so ideally, sorry, you want to get this arm across here, okay? Control, hook the shin, or, or hold the shin with your left hand, right where it connects with his ear. So if I need to get a better angle, this is a much better angle here. And now you're going to do the triangle with the arm across the hip line here in what I call the pocket, and you're going to reach under your right leg, and you're gonna get a cable grip, and you're gonna pull, the left hand pull, and I'm gonna twist so that my knees can press together. So here, pull, and then I lift the hip, and it becomes super tight. Yeah, from here. Basics of trying to here, push it in there, grab the shin, hold the head, Put the foot on the hip. I want to pull and I want to hang and twist. Oftentimes it takes a few seconds for the triangle to kick in because it's choke. Okay, if they're fighting, it's easier. So, this is partially locked in here. I'm gonna push this across here, hug the head, grab the shin right here. Okay, I need to keep this head down because the defense for a triangle is to lift the head up. If you notice, I'm not fully locked in, and this happens oftentimes, okay? So what I need to do is I can only pull this leg in the direction of the heel. Do not pull here, especially here. First of all, I need to have at least head control here, okay? But I cannot pull my leg like this, you're gonna pop your knee. I can only pull it in the direction of the heel. So the heel is down, I'm pulling it down. So now as I go here, okay, I can lock it in here, but I can only pull this leg in the direction of the heel. I can't tell you how many times I see this right here, and these ligaments do not like this angle right here, especially if the person is slowly lifting their head up right here okay it applies a lot of pressure plus i don't have any control over his shoulder here so here pull it over hug it right here lift and compress it. all right
try that basic try. One, two, three.